Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make, that's right, a spooky, spooky, spooky balloon garland. Halloween inspiration for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Leave me your comments and let's get started. And I'll show you how I put this beauty together. Let's go. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm gonna show you really quick the hooks that I use for outdoor setup. And these hooks are only going to be for vinyl siding. So this is what they look like. And these are called um, wreath hooks. You can find them at like a Home Depot or so. So the way these get installed, and you can see them right here behind me, this is how they go. So this part right here goes in between the vinyl siding and you hook it up just like that. And all I do is I attach a 260 balloon and create almost like a bracelet so that my balloon, I only need one. Oh, I dropped one. Okay, so I have like a bag filled with hooks and I use these hooks when I'm about to do outdoor setup, especially for vinyl. I can't put any command hooks or anything like that on my vinyl only because it might um, peel the paint of the vinyl off and I don't want to damage them. So that's why you see me right here. This is what I do and I use the hooks. So right up here I have two hooks and the next thing is I'm going to um, get my balloons. They're all bagged already. And as you can see right here, I have one bag right there with my balloons and another one right here. So I already pre-inflated these balloons and created a, um, uh, I don't wanna say a column, but I created a, a garland, a mini basic garland. My balloons are black, marbled, uh, gray, which these are actually double stuff. It's um, a black balloon inside a white. And then I'm also using th these purple ones. And the purples are also um, double stuffed. They're pretty much uh, purple outside and black inside to give it that like matted look, as you can see, guys. Sorry if my camera keeps moving everywhere, but so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bag out of my garland, as you can see. And I first start with this main garland right here. And then the rest of my balloons that you see back over there, those are single balloons that I layer, they're clusters that I can shape my garland after. So I'm gonna put this in and start from there. One thing I'm definitely going to advise you guys is when you do um, something outdoors or even indoors, it's always good to have a clear bag. This way you know exactly what balloons you need color-wise. Um, so it's always good to have, okay? Just keep that in mind. Now you could have done another strip just like the top one for the bottom and then build from there, but I didn't think my garland was going to be as high over there. So, um, you know, you can improvise because it's my house. It doesn't matter. I have time, but if it was a venue, I'll probably do both strips. Okay.
The cool thing about having singles is you can put whatever colors you want. You're not set into one uh, pattern. So that's also something to keep in mind. I can see what colors, where can I put other um, colors, you know, not the same. So that makes it look more organic. And then all I'm doing right now, I normally get these ready ahead of time for setups. These are my bracelets. They are 260s attached like a bracelet. And that's what I use to hook my, my quads, okay? My little clusters. So I just grab one of my balloons, put my bracelet and use it like this to attach it to another. So your balloons don't feel too loose. You can actually reinforce by adding another bracelet to the one that you already have um, set in place. And then just start taking, making shapes, right? So I think now I'm done with the purple. I'm gonna start moving into some grays at the bottom and maybe some grays up top. Okay, you guys, so I also have these orange ones and you say, well, just leave it like that, it doesn't go, but the look is to be spooky. So these are regular orange colors, double stuffed with black inside. And these, I don't wanna overpower, but I wanna pull some of my foils in together with these colors. You'll see what I mean. I have this like cool looking pumpkin that I wanna incorporate in my garland. And this is why I created these to kind of like tie in the color and it doesn't look like an eyesore, if you know what I mean. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna put my pumpkin first and I think I kind of wanna hide it right over here, just like that. So like the orange comes. So the way to attach these, even though it has a little hole in here, just grab a 260 and you're going to just roll in your 260 into place and then you can build a bracelet that you can loop on your balloon. Just like this, okay? Could just do one at a time or you can also put one end to your mini garland your mini quads I should say and the other end use the other one that way you take advantage and you don't use up so much product And now for the fun part of it is adding some um, uh, spider webs, some spiders, and I have this right here you can find at the dollar store to make it a little bit spookier. I think how cute is that, you guys? I'm gonna take like a final uh, shot of it so you guys get to see it. And all you gotta do is just take your spider web and just stretch it out 
and try to like make it spooky looking. It's getting dark, you guys, and I wanna make sure, you might not see it on the camera, but it's getting out there dark. Here's another thing. Take your time doing these spider webs because there's nothing worse than just throwing your spider web like this, you know? Like, take your time, like stretching it, making it look like it's actually a spider web and work with what you got, okay? So for my spider web to show, I'm not just gonna throw it anywhere. I'm gonna try to put it on things where you can see. So my darker colors, that's where my spider web's gonna go. And you can just tuck it in, you know, as much as you can, try to stretch it so it doesn't look like it's fake. Okay. Or my purples or my light colors are. I have this big spiders. These, because they're dark, I want to show. So these I'm going to try to put on the places that I see they're lighter. do this ahead of time the better because it does take time to fluff it out a little bit so to make it look realistic everything with this only because I want the balloons to show but that's why I'm saying pick the darker balloons and that's where you're gonna do your spider web so it looks cohesive, but I'm not also going to put spider webs everywhere, you know? Only where I feel it needs it. Just tuck it in between the balloons and... Okay, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful decor for outdoors inspired by Halloween, making your garlands, your garlands spooky. And I love that um, you guys came along to set up outdoors. I can't wait to see your creations. For more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Leave me your comments and don't forget to subscribe big time. That helps me, you guys. And I can't wait to create more garlands for you. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.